And this is Redbeard on this adventure on Stall the Rivco Trailer Hitch. Before I get started showing you how I did this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Looks like the, uh, the first step is to remove the seat, covers, um, all that kind of stuff, and some bolts in here. And then also this rear fender. So, time to get to work. Here I am with the first step done. Uh, so the seats removed, the covers, and then this gray piece and that fits right here. All that is removed, as well as the rear fender. And the next step is to remove some bolts in here. I think it's these bolts. And check them out. Yeah, I got these uh, uh, support brackets installed. On the other side, you do a little drilling, and uh, so the bolt can go all the way through and attaches to the hitch frame. And this one, you go ahead and torque it down, and then the uh, and the hitch frame will just sit on top of it. So on this side, it screws into it. And on this side, it just sits on the bolt. Next step is to remove these bolts on that side and on this side. All right, this is the one here on the left side. It took a lot to get, but there's a trick to it evidently. Now, one of the tricks is you see these wires. I pulled all these over, tighten them closer out of the way. So this was already in there. The zip tie was already there. So I just reorganized that, and then there's this one that was with them. I got it out of the way to make a little bit more space. Now, maybe you can find a way to keep it in there, but this gives it more space over here. Now, there is a, a wire down there. Uh, runs right across, and that seems to be the thing that stays in the way. Um, so what you do is you eventually realize that it is this wire here, and you pull it out of the way, and then you can get... You can get it up there. Let's see if we can. Yeah, so there it is. Right through there. And pull back. It says pull it back far as you can. So that's as far as it goes. So hopefully, and I think I've heard that the other side is harder, but maybe learning these things, it won't be so bad for me. Um, but it does seem like the trick is this wire right here, getting it out of the way. Um... I tried putting all kind of different places until I finally figured out it runs right back here. Pull out of the way. It's up over here. Out of the way. And uh, it seems to be fine. So that should save you some hassle. Alright, it wasn't as hard to get this one in as the other one. But uh, this, I guess this is the subframe here. This black one here. Uh, I think it moved a little bit. So it made it kind of hard to get this bolt in there but uh, you see you got the wires routed that one's there everything else you just push out of the way you just be careful with this one so it doesn't get pinched and uh, away you go so now you see I have both of those in I don't know what they're called but uh, there's some nice bracing and then underneath there you can see the shiny shiny nut you take off the little acorn nut and put that in there suppose that creates a clearance to install the main hitch on here on the left side this bolt on this bracket is the longer one there's two of these in that was it pouch number one and one of them is longer so pay attention to that this will go in there because you have a a nut that goes on the other side so it goes all the way through through the receiver hitch and then there's a nut that goes on there and if you use uh, the longer one on the wrong side then that doesn't work so shorter one on the right side longer one on the left side uh, watch out this is what the uh, final product looks like uh, without the uh, the rear panel there's also 
um, picture here with the rear panel. Now, I don't have everything on here. My, I don't have a setup for great how-to videos, but what I noticed was there there wasn't anything for the, the 2010, that generation of gold wings. So I wanted to, to put a little bit on here to, to maybe help people who are trying to do this or thinking about doing this to a similar generation uh, gold wing. Uh, the instructions that came with were quite helpful. Like I said, I have a few tips in here that might help or, or highlight some of the instructions and that give you a little better idea. I also didn't take any pictures of me cutting into the plastic. That's always a nerve-wracking thing, uh, but it, it worked out really well. I didn't use the template, but I did measure. Uh, I just didn't want to destroy the instructions in case I needed them for something else because you cut them out. You can always make a copy and, and use it that way. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if there was something else you'd like to see or something you'd like to know before you try a similar project. Well, until next time, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.